A key aspect of a meta-analysis is presenting the data in, in a format that's called a forest plot, or it's also referred to as a meta view. What you see here is on the left side is the studies that were done and the year that they were performed. The next column shows the numbers of patients that were in the, ex in the uh, experiment group or, or the treatment group. Uh, the next column shows the number of patients that were in the control. Um, and it also shows uh, the outcome for those patients. Uh, in this particular example, the comparison uh, obtained an external cephalic version at term to prevent the delivery of a, of a baby at breach, and the outcome was a cesarean section. So you can see in the first study by Brox in 1984, there were 31 patients that had an external cephalic version at term. Seven of those ended up with a cesarean section. In the control where they did not have the external cephalic version, of the 34 women, 12 ended up with a cesarean section. The next column shows the results, um, and down the center is the line one, which means one being there was really no difference between the treatment and the control group. In that particular first one, the, the, um, the blue square in the center is to the left of one, which shows that women who had the external cephalic version were less likely to have a cesarean section. But you also see the two wings that go out from the center blue square. Those are the 95% confidence interval, and you can see that the upper end of the confidence interval crosses the line one. That means that the truth, the, the real place where the results may have actually favored the control. So that particular study uh, was not statistically significant. In contrast, you can look at the third study down. Uh, that one, the wings, uh, both the upper and the lower end of the wings are both to the left side of the, of the one, meaning that that study was statistically significant and did clearly favor that the external cephalic version resulted in a lower risk of ending up with a cesarean section. You can notice also that the fourth study down um, is the only one where the blue square is actually to the right of the center line. And that particular study found that there was actually an increased risk of cesarean section in, in women who underwent an external cephalic version at term, and we would call that result heterogeneous with the rest of the, of the other studies. At the very bottom in the black diamond is what's called the summary uh, evaluation, and this basically uh, summarizes all of the evidence. You can see that, uh, again, in, in the uh, experimental group or the uh, comparison group, 303 women underwent, totally went, underwent cephalic version, 46, 48 of those women ended up with a cesarean section. In comparison, 309 women did not uh, uh, undergo external cephalic version, and 93 of them had a C-section. The overall results, uh, as you can see, uh, favor the treatment because the black diamond and both ends of the black diamond are to the left of the center line. 